if we need to measure the weight of the mass or to measure the extension force of this rubber band, we will use a spring balance. We place the object that we want to measure here and note that there are two scales. The left side is N for Newtons and the right side is not used. So we place the object here at this position and what is the reading? The pointer points at 4 which implies that the weight is 4.0 newtons. Now to measure the extension force of the rubber band or the mass that stretches the rubber band to this length that is 1.8 newtons. The scale on the left is in newtons and the scale on the right is the unit of mass and this scale is the unit of weight. The scale on the right will not be used. In between reading 2 and 3 there are 10 tiny marks so we divide 1 newton by 10 that is 0.1 newtons and the scale uncertainty is 0.05 newtons. Remember to keep the highest position at mark 0. If the highest position does not match with a 0 mark one more reading should be taken. That is the reading while no object is attached. For example the reading with no object attached is 0.2 after the object is attached to the balance, we take the reading again, that is 4. Deduct the previous reading from 4, and the result is the weight of the mass. Please note there was a total of two readings that have been recorded during the measurement, and that resulted in a total of two reading errors. The maximum possible error equals 1 unit, that is 0.1 newton. As a result equals to 4 minus 0.2, to be accurate it reads as 3.8 plus or minus 0.1 newton.